who from the cast sent a sexy message to their mom? Who is Shamar Moore dating now and why won't he join the Criminal Minds finale? Whose career got ruined after their scandalous leave from the show? Hi, I'm Dylan, and here's everything that the ex-Criminal Minds cast are doing now. Thomas Gibson For Thomas, the scandalous departure from the show didn't happen without it leaving a giant mark on his career. Gibson got physical with one of the producers on set and was eventually written off the show. And sadly, it looks like it impacted his career. Since 2016, Thomas has had only one voiceover role and starred in the TV action thriller movie Shadow Wolves. Thomas played the team leader of an elite group of Native American trackers and had a decent mustache. The film was called Cliché and received extremely poor reviews. Gibson's personal life is not doing any better. In 2013, a woman claimed that she had an affair with Gibson, providing videos and pictures to back up her story. Though Gibson denied it, saying that the evidence was edited, he said that him and his wife had already separated at that time. So in 2018, the couple managed to finalize their divorce after four years of court red tape. Looks like Gibson is now trying to spend more time with his kids, two sons and a daughter. Jennifer Love Hewitt Jennifer's character only lasted for a season on the show, and some sources blame her departure on a petition signed by fans to remove her character. But let's be honest, it only got 42 votes. So the real reason was Jennifer's pregnancy. Yep, Agent Kate Callahan's pregnancy was written in and that belly bump was more than real. She is now raising her seven-year-old daughter and four-year-old son together with her husband, an actor in his own right, Brian Hallisey. And even though Hewitt went on maternity leave to spend more time raising her kids, she's already back on full work mode. Now she stars in Fox's 9-11 series, and her kids love visiting their mom on the set. And yet, Jennifer keeps her personal life undercover and doesn't post pics of her kids, besides some of these cute moments from her family's 2019 Christmas celebration. Mandy Patinkin This was huge. We were shocked to find out that Jason Gideon was written off the show, but the reason for his departure was even more mind-blowing. Turns out Mandy openly dissed the show saying, The biggest public mistake I ever made was that I chose to do Criminal Minds in the first place. I thought it was something very different. It was very destructive to my soul and my personality. Did that affect his career? Nah, surprisingly not at all. Mandy is now one of the main characters on Showtime's spy thriller Homeland. It has been one of the privileges of my life, and I cannot thank Saul Berenson, our writers, Claire. He's been playing the Middle East Division Chief of the CIA, Saul Berenson, for eight seasons. Mandy says that he has learned so much from his character and is sad that the show ends in 2020. For the Criminal Minds fans, it felt a lot like hearing that a loved one was doing better without them after a nasty breakup. Mandy is now 67, and he tries to seize the moment and do what he loves the most – music. I found a new life partner in music, he said to the New York Times. Patinkin was already a renowned Broadway singer in his early days and has now released Diary, January 27, 2018, his first new collection of songs in 16 years. It'll just be a grand piano with Adam facing me and an empty stage, he says. Shamar Moore even though Shamar Moore parted ways with the behavioral analysis unit, sexting a mom would definitely be a case for the team to investigate. Shamar revealed that he accidentally sent quite an inappropriate message to his mom instead of his girlfriend. And I said, when I come home, you better be ready because I'm going to put it on you. And I, and <laughs> so, as you can guess, Shamar, who is 49 years old, by the way, is looking for someone to settle down with. He opened up to Steve Harvey. I really am in a good place right now. I'm the lead of SWAT. I've done everything I could do by myself, and now I need that somebody. I need that her, that boo thing. I need that partner in crime to do the rest of what I want to do. It's been a year since that, but there are still no reports about Shamar making some serious moves. Moore had a crush on the Quantico actress Annabella Costa and challenged all of his co-workers to find him her email so he could ask her out. Yep. Ladies, if you're going out on a first date with Shamar Moore, be ready to end up on the red carpet. But the media has been silent since then, so maybe Shamar is single once again. But he is busier than ever with work right now. He's been a lead actor on the series SWAT for three seasons already and is immensely proud of his achievements. He even got a tattoo of the SWAT symbol. 
an eagle, to remind himself of what he can achieve by believing in himself. Moore is so into filming and bonding with his new family that it stood in the way of coming back for season 15 of Criminal Minds. In a couple of his interviews, he revealed that he couldn't make it to the final episode of the series because of a scheduling conflict. It's so sad that we won't see Morgan hugging his baby girl for the last time. Gian Triplehorn The directors were thrilled that Gian Triplehorn was joining the cast as Dr. Alex Blake. But just two seasons later, they suddenly announced her departure from the show because of failed contract negotiations. For some reason, Triplehorn had a two-year break from filming after leaving the show, and returned to the industry mostly doing small gigs. She did a couple of voiceovers for animated shows and had small parts in a movie called Gloria Bell, alongside Julianne Moore and Little Pink House. So judging by Jeanne's Instagram, she is fully embracing her life by spending as much time as she can with her husband, actor Leland Orson, and their son, August. And though August is already 17, Jeanne still keeps him away from media and social presence. This is one of the rare pictures she ever posted of him. Well, a former BAU agent should know a thing or two about keeping their private life under wraps. Damon Gupton Fans didn't expect that Stefan Walker would join the team of BAU for just one season. The directors decided they didn't want to renew his contract for season 13, and Gupton had to move forward, starring in the CW superhero series Black Lightning. Damon is quite busy these days. He's now working on an upcoming miniseries based on a book of the same name by former FBI director James Comey, called A Higher Loyalty. While the film is set to premiere in 2020, Damon is trying to arrange his love life. Him and his girlfriend share a common love interest in sports, but besides tweeting about that, they try to stay out of the public eye. Lola Glaudini Lola's departure from the show was perhaps the least dramatic among the cast members who left the show. Glaudini simply didn't like staying in LA where the series was shot and wanted to return to the East Coast. And leaving the center of the cinematic industry behind didn't harm her career. After leaving the show, Lola joined a bunch of projects, mainly as a recurring character in shows like Blue Bloods, Castle, and White Collar. For two years, she's been playing in Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. She also appeared on Showtime's Ray Donovan and on Fox's Lethal Weapon. Just when Criminal Mind started, Lola got married and is now a proud mother of two. Is your favorite ex-Criminal Minds agent on this list? Let us know what you guys think about these actors in the comments below. And don't forget to stay awesome!